Hi there, today I'm going to change this coil spring on the back of a Mercedes E220. Now, what I've got here, I've taken the plastic cover off the bottom that would be over there, it's lying under here. That cover. You need to remove that to get to the bolts. There's three bolts. I've got, let's see what we've got here. E12 is the drop link. That one comes off. And the bolt looks like that. 13 mil. 13 millimeter and E12 and then we've got the next one I'm going to take out is the suspension arm itself which is what have we got here E18 and that's the outer one and the other side of that is 21 millimeter so I'll just rattle that out the thing to watch with this is although I'm supporting this the arm's not going to go down because I've still got a shock absorber bolt so it can't go down, but watch you don't have your head in here whilst you're watching what you're doing because this lot comes up and this thing will get you in the head if you do that and because it's a bar it concentrates the area into one tiny bit and can, well it, I, I did that once and it actually cracked my skull um, I, I still have post-concussion syndrome from the arm coming up uh, the spring was an after effect but the main fault was this top arm. I was just here and somebody sneaked up behind me and uh, I didn't see what I was doing. Luckily I had my head turned but that's why it got me at the side. When I pressed my head it was crunchy which it shouldn't be. So now what I'm going to do is stay out of the way of it because I know that it comes up. Like I said I've got a jack there but I don't need that just yet. So we're going to take this one out right here. I've got the 21 mil. I'm not going to stand in the way. Not off one side, we still got this bolt to come out here, like that. And if you saw that move, that's what got me on the head uh, last time when I was doing a spring and I got hit. So uh, there's the answer to it if anybody wanted to know. But then this one came out quite easy. So that's the outer one. It, now I've got the inner one, which is a shock absorber. Oh, what size do we have there? Is it? No. I did have it. E. I had to suck it out. Oh, it's fallen off. Here it is. So that one's E14. So you're going to need a set of E's. And then that one will come out. And I think that was a 18. I'll just check. No. Not an 18. 16. 16 millimeter on the inside for that. So this one will come out. There we go. That ain't gonna go anywhere. I got the jack under it, but it's not going anywhere. Now I can lower the jack. The arm will come down. I'll be able to. using the lever and the jack to do all the work I was pulling out on the brake I've been pulling this brake caliper in and out until I can get this lined up to get the bolt in sometimes you need to use your heel or your foot and the jack as an extra pair of hands because they all need to move so that's to line it up so that's how I found this big long lever helps me with that. Now I've just got to put the nut on the other side and then the drop link bolt. That's really easy. It's just that's the fiddly bit. That one bit getting the bolt started. Oh, the spring was easy. I didn't show it. I actually switched the phone off when I meant to be recording, but it doesn't matter. The arm came down. You just pull the spring out, change the rubber cap at the top of the spring, a little cut put it back in and then you jack up the arm, the suspension arm, you jack it up and I gave it a slight tap with a hammer on the spring to locate it whilst I had the jack under and it just sits in properly 
be careful, you should be okay. Uh, the main thing is this, you have to lever it down um, whilst lifting the arm up. You're not going to lift the arm up high enough to get it in, but quite easy. I didn't see a video on anyone doing the rear springs on these. It's a few bolts. I almost didn't bother myself, but I thought it might just help somebody. Um, this is the one that I was doing, checking the knock on it. I've done the front struts. Uh, there was no damping effect at all. It was just bouncing, so it was all a spring at the front. The shock absorbers were doing nothing at all, so they're replaced. Didn't show that. It's quite easy on these. Three little bolts at the top. I leave them to last. There's just three bolts at the bottom on the strut. I didn't bother showing that because it was that easy. The only reason I'm showing this is because I didn't see a video on it and I thought it might help somebody wanting to try it. Um, I've just got to put the rest of it together. When I tighten the bolts, I'll jack it up on the arm so the arm comes up level. I want this to be up and then I tighten the bolts. That way the bushes are tightened at the same place that it would be if the car was on the floor. It's work a bit differently when you're a mobile mechanic. You don't have a lift and stuff like that. But you still, it's good to tighten them up where the suspension would be in the natural position. So what I do is jack the suspension till the arm comes up. Uh, and do it that way. I didn't need to undo the inner bolt at all. It had enough swing in it to pull the arm down. There's, you weren't forcing anything on the inner bolt, on the bush, on the suspension arm to get the spring out. Uh, that's it. I'm just going to put out those bolts on dead easy now. The hard one was the one I showed you that you needed to use your foot on the jack handle, but hopefully it's helpful to somebody and thanks for watching.